have covered the previous four topic from the unit number one, that is operating system objectives, the evolution of operating system, the functions of operating system, components of operating or components of operating system, development leading to modern operating system. So function means the process management, memory management, file management, IO system management, right? Secondary storage management, then protection, command interpreter. These are what we referred it as the components of operating system or the functions of operating system, right? And the development leading to the modern operating system in the yesterday's lecture, we have seen that the depending upon the kernel architecture, the operating system have been developed. So either you have the micro kernel architecture for the operating system or you have the monolithic architecture uh, for the uh, monolithic kernel architecture for the operating system, right? And now the next topic in this first unit uh, we have to learn is the shell commands. The shell scripting means and we have to write down some small, small shell program or it is called as the shell script. So before starting to the actual shell programming or the shell scripting, so we must understand uh, the Unix concept or the pro uh, Unix operating system. The Unix operating system, it was uh, developed by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie in the year 1973. And Unix is called as the mother of an operating system because why it is called as a mother of operating system because it was the first operating system which was developed uh, for the uh, computer system. If we see or if we look at the features of Unix operating system, so Unix is the portable language means you can easily port uh, the Unix operating system to any of the platform means you can have your uh, Intel processors or you can have your AMD processor or you can have your uh, IBM pro, uh, machines are there, but Unix can run, Unix operating system can run on any platform. And why? Because the code of Unix operating system is written in total C language. So if you go to the source code of Unix uh, operating system, you will find that entire code is written in the C language. The second feature is it is a multi-user capability. Yes, multiple users can log in at the same time on a single uh, system and they can work, get the work done in that particular operating system. The next feature of the Unix is nothing but it has support to multitasking. Multiple tasks are performed by the Unix at the same time. Unix, it has built-in networking support. It has the different commands, the different protocols that are already uh, inbuilt in the Unix operating system. So if the two machines or the two systems having Unix OS installed, then definitely they can easily get into the network. They can easily communicate with each other because all the protocols are embedded in the Unix OS itself. The most important factor, the security point of view, Unix provides three level security to the to protect the data. Means it has file level security, it has user level security, and it has a password security. Means you can, uh, for your Windows system, unless and until you put the password, you cannot enter into the system you, uh, at system level. Then to open a particular file, it has user level access, a read, you as administrator you can permit read access write access or execute access to the other users other than you so security or the protection is maintained very well in case of unix operating system and it has a hierarchical file system hierarchical file system means what it is a tree like structure so one main directory or it is called as generally it is called as the root directory and under this root directory number of directories are sub directories are there and under these subdirectories, there are sub subdirectories are the place in the Unix because each and everything is in the Unix OS. It is considered as a, a file. Then Unix supports the filters, pipes, trees, and redirection operators. So these are some uh, operators used while writing the shell script. So you might have question that what is by filter or what is by pipe. So these are nothing but the commands or one can say these are the operators, operators which can be used while writing the shell programming or the shell script. So we must understand the Unix operating system and Unix file system before actually going to the shell scripting. We must know the basic command, basic shell commands which are used in the Unix OS. Unix is comprised of four primary components. The first one is nothing but the hardware. The second component is nothing but the kernel. The third component is nothing but the shell. And finally is the application program. So diagram shows that the shell here you can have the command. So ls is one command that is executed in shell. Sort is another command. SCD is a command. Who is one command? GREP is one command. 
then cp that is nothing but the copy is another command so this shell is nothing but which interacts with the user and application program means here your browser a spreadsheet your database your mail all these are nothing but the application program so user interacts with the application program with the shell but user cannot directly interact with the kernel or it cannot directly interact with the hardware so kernel is the part of the unix system that interacts with the hardware getting this point so we have to write some small shell script means we have to execute shell commands and uh, we can have their output at the shell prompt right so first part is nothing but the unix kernel already we have discussed about the kernel so everybody knows that kernel is the heart of the system the same case for the unix the unix kernel is the heart of the system it is nothing but the collection of programs written in a c because entire code of unix os is written in a c language so kernel controls the cpu and other computer resources as well as it handles all io functions all the input output functions it handles so all the functions or all the features of operating system it is handled by the kernel of unix operating system that is process management memory management io management file management are the functions provided by the unix kernel and this kernel is not visible or it is invisible to the user and stored in the file it is called as the slash unix getting this point so this is all about the unix kernel then shell unix shell so unix shell is nothing but the command line interpreter so it is called as the command line interpreter where the user can type hit his command so it is it directly interacts with the user so it takes command from the user and translate it into the command that the kernel can understand right and on a system one system may have many types of shell like born shell it is uh, referred as a bsh c shell it is referred as a csh and corn shell it is referred as a ksh are widely used shells so two types of users are in the unix so starts with the shell commands we can say that there are two basic users one user is called as the root user or it is called as the super user or also it is called as the administrator user so this is same suppose if you uh, if you log in as a root user or administrator or the super user you have all the privileges uh, means you can add user you can delete user so you have all authority to access that unix operating system and general user so for example suppose i am as a subject user i am as a root user or i am as an administrator user so i can add the users from tid1 to tid60 and if you log in as a tid1 user so you can work in the unix os but you have limited privileges means you cannot uh, inter you cannot uh, interfere between uh, with the files created by the tid2 users or tid3 users like this but administrator being an administrator i can uh, see the files created by all the user i can modify i can delete the file so because the administrator user have the full authority whereas the general user it has limited authority so on command prompt root user is generated by dollar sign so how to identify the users if i log in as a root user i will get a dollar sign at the command prompt everybody understand the command prompt na command prompt means when we enters into the command prompt and when we need to type the commands so that sign is sign is there at the left hand side and if it is a dollar one then we can say i uh, it is a root user or it is a super user or it is a administrator user but if that sign is hash user, hash then it is nothing but the uh, it is a general user right so uh, now let us see some basic shell commands it is very simple so but only thing is that you need to practice all this shell commands at your end so uh, the uh, very important point is that you have to install the ubuntu linux operating system in your laptop or in your desktop and you have to first assignment is that you have to type all the shell command once you type because until and unless you type and execute the shell command uh, you will not able to uh, grab the concept so uh, we'll just explain here i will show you how to execute this command so first command is pwd so present as so a pwd stands for the present working directory so we'll execute also uh, after this next is tty that is nothing but the terminal number so unix has so already we have discussed that unix is a multi user operating system so it has multiple users so on which terminal which user is working so that is given with the help of this terminal number next one is the date the current date is displayed then who who are the current who is the next command so the command uh, output of the command is nothing but who are the currently present in the system right then who am i so who is the current user who is the current user right 
then wc wc stands for the word count suppose a file is there so if you can give the file name as input say for example file is a and if i run the wc space a then i will get the word count in that particular file man command man command everybody know it is nothing but the help or the manual pages please it is very similar to your dir command used in the dos dir command displays the all the files as well as the directory in the working directory uh, ls is the listing of the file same way the ls is nothing but the listing of the file the beauty of uh, the unix command or shell command is that each command is having multiple options so you see that dollar is nothing but the prompt ls is the command space now in unix or in linux when we type the shell commands or when we writing the shell script the space is very much important if you add more space or if you reduce the space then it will it will not run it will give you the error right so there must be ls space minus l minus is nothing minus l is nothing but the option to that ls command so ls command comes with the multiple option minus l minus a minus m so multiple options are available with this command so ls minus a is nothing but the long listing of the text ls minus a that is nothing but the list of hidden files so which are the files hidden in that directory it will show it to you then this is man minus ls suppose if you want to find out the help for that particular command ls suppose i want to know ki how many options are available with the ls command i just type help or man to ls so i will get entire help to, to the command cd everybody know the change directory command user add so if i log in as a super user or admin user i can add suppose tit1 so user add tit1 the user get added successfully and if i want to change his password then i get i write the command pass wd pass wd to change the password of the user then to create a new file the next command is to create the new file cat file name suppose cat the file name is say for example ab then the the file name ab is created cat single direction operator next command is cat single direction operator file name that create new file then cat double direction operator file suppose the file is already created file name that is the name of the file which is already created and then i want to append some content at the end of the file so i have to use this then control d after this i press the control d command and i can i can save the contents which i have typed just now into the existing file and i can come out then sort sort the file in a alphabetical order here the screen grip is nothing but the search the file for a particular pattern expr now important command expr suppose if you want to do mathematical uh, manipulation suppose addition subtraction multiplication and division then this expr command is used so it gives the result of mathematical expression and echo command echo command is very similar to your printf command in c language so whatever you want to print uh, display on the screen you have to use this command echo okay so before uh, going to the unix file system uh, let us compile uh, let us see uh, the commands so first command which we have seen is that pwd pwd stands for present working directory so i will get here the slash root is my present working directory clear clear is another command so here i get the uh, user or i am a general user so clear command is clear the contents on that particular screen so here uh, i have not used uh, i have not installed the linux linux os but i am just uh, using the online uh, online interpreter of the linux operating system so for this you have to install the ubuntu linux and you can try it on but here on windows i am executing all this command with the help of this uh, interpreter online interpreter right so next command is for example who am i just who type who am i on the prompt and just press the enter so i will find that i am the root user right the next command is for example ls this is nothing but the listing of the file just now i have said that this is similar to your dir the dir command won't work here but dir will it, it will not count right here you have to type in linux environment or in the unix environment you need to type 
ls command so ls is nothing but ls right ls minus space minus l option ah huh? ls minus l option so see this one same way so the listing is same here the file name a file name b then bench.cp then file is c then hello.c hello.json readme.txt all the files are there but only the c that orientation of the files are different means a long listing of the files means it gives the first column displays rw dash r dash dash r dash that means read write execute permission to that file then one is nothing but the link to that particular file root root means who is the creator and who is the user of the file 161 is nothing but the what is the size of that particular file august 39 point the file is created and a is nothing but the name of the file getting this point ls minus l plus minus a for example it will give me the list of the hidden file so that the file you, you can see with the green uh, with the blue color these are the hidden file in that particular directory getting this point or not so ls minus i is the command for this particular uh, to display the hidden file then wc wc stands for the word count file number file a is already available so i can count number of words in a c so i can have the 13 is the number of line 34 is the number of words present in that particular file wc word count 13 is the number of line 34 is the uh, number of words present in that particular file the next command is say for example new file suppose cat suppose file a is already available so if i press cat space a again i will clear the screen then cat a so if i press like this cat a so i will get the file here it present and it it is nothing but the uh, small shell script to some of the number right so this file is already available but if i want to create a new file if i want to create a new file i can give like this cat single direction operator say for example a name of the file is a <laughs> echo echo is the command it is similar to printf hello this is my first tail Okay. Enter. Just press Control G. Right. Okay. If I want to see the contents, if I want to see the content of the file, then cat A. This is the thing which I have written in that particular. Is it okay to all of you? Is the commands are visible? Commands get understood? hello okay suppose i want to execute now i have written this particular small shell script and if i want to execute this particular program then just give the command sh sh uh, stands for the shell script to execute the shell program and the name of the program is aa right sh is nothing but the to execute the shell program it is a sh right and space name of the shell script sh space aa enter hello this is my first shell script are you getting this point so with the help of cat command uh, and single redirection operator we have and the name of the file echo hello this is my first shell script we have created the file then how to execute the shell script with the help of this sh command is used to execute shell script okay so already it is not a command available but it is for just your information if you want to execute the shell script you have to type the command sh right now suppose i want to append some content at the existing file so i can write like this cat double redirection operator aa the file is already present and one line is already there so echo I can add this is second line. Enter and just press Control D. Come out of the, this thing. Just clear the screen. Then just give cat a this one. The first line is hello. This is my first shell script. And the second line, which we have just now added, this is the 
second line so i can run with this shae this is the output of the shell script the first shell script we have created and this is our output that is hello this is my first shell script and this is the second line okay okay now next point we we'll just go there in the presentation mode expr okay just see the expr command expr plus ten we'll get here twenty but if you like write like this expr ten plus ten so it will give an error or it will not execute correctly because why as i have already told you that the space is very important because students generally do this mistake they forget to give the space so if you forget to give the space it will give you the error so for this expr 10 space plus space and just hit the enter key you will get the correct output get this point or you can also have a equal to equal to this one sign expr in plus in this sign right okay Eco A. Or you can have the value. You can see so the value the expr ten plus ten output is stored in the variable A, and you can display the value of this variable. So while writing the sales script, we'll see in detail. So but right. Okay, so cat control D sort here grep command expr and eco command. Next is the Unix file system. Unix treats everything it knows and understands as a file. So all utilities, applications, and data in Unix is stored as a file. Unix file system resembles an upside down tree, begin with a directory called root or slash, indicated by the slash, backslash. The root directory also contains a file called unix which is the unix kernel file branching from the root directory there are several directories that is bin lib usr home etc temp dav mnt and sbin so we will see now see this is the file system unix so this is the root directory and under the root directory you can see this bin dav etc home lib mnt PROC root has been TMP and USR. So bin is so what is the meaning of each and every directory? So you can see here. Bin is nothing but the binary, it contains all the binary executable file. And slash etc is nothing but the administrative files. All the administrative files like password, user add, and all these things are kept under the slash etc directory. Then lib, library functions, whatever may be the library functions, they are kept under the library file. USR that is user file, whatever may be the contents uh, created by the users, files of the users are stored in the user file. TMP temporary file here. So we have the TMP file temporary. Then home, home directory of all users. Suppose here is the home directory, student one. I can create number of STD, STU1, STU2, STU3, n number of users I can create in the Unix with the help of user add command, right? And it is nothing but the home directory for that particular user. Then DEV. Device driver file. DEV is nothing but the device driver file where you can have. Suppose I want to mount a pen drive to my Unix or Linux OS, so I have to mount pen drive to that particular system. external hardware can be mount uh, in that particular system with the help of this MNT directory. All right, getting this point. The types of file. The next point is nothing but the types of file. So there are different types of the file. If it is a dash, then it is it indicates the ordinary file. So where we will find, we'll just see on the terminal, where is the D? Uh, where is that dash? Where is the D? D is nothing but the directory file. C is nothing but the character special file. D is nothing but the block file. This indicates the semaphore file. And L is nothing but the symbolic link file. Now here are some commands for the file handling. RM, file name, remove the file. RM minus I, file. Will ask you, are you sure you want to remove the file? Means delete the file, you press yes, then it will remove. MV is command 
if we move file one to file two, means source file into the destination file, means you are moving the file from one location to the next location. Meaning is that you are renaming the file with the help of this move command, and there is only one copy of um, is maintained by the help of mv command. But cp is the next command copy source file, source name, source file name, and the destination file name. Meaning is that copy the files and the two copies means one is the previous one and next is the copy. Uh, two copies of the same file are maintained with the help of cp command, but with the help of move command, only one copy is maintained. Head display the first ten lines of the file. Display the last ten lines of the file. MKDIR you can create the new directory, and RMDIR you can remove the directory. Right. So here, say for example, plus s minus l. If we see so this one, right. So the first dash, first dash indicates it is nothing but the Ordinary file first that dash indicates the ordinary file. So if I want to remove one file rm, say for example uh, rm, suppose uh, rm and aa, just the file we have just created, suppose rm a, so the file is get removed. So if I again do the command ls minus l, so aa file is now removed from this particular folder or from this particular location, right? Then mkdir. MKDIR A. Suppose I want to create a new directory, just put the command MKDIR A. So new directory is created. Again, use the command ls. So here you can use the uh, down and up arrow keys. Just like I am pressing the up arrow key, I am pressing the down arrow key. So no, no need to type the command at the all time explicitly. Just put up the up arrow key. You will get the same command again. So see here A A. Now color of A is becomes blue. And see here first letter on the left hand side. Left column, first letter is D. So this D indicates it is nothing but the directory file. Though it is a directory, but still it is treated as a file in the Unix or Linux operating system. Getting this point or not? And the dash. So for all remaining files, the first character is always dash. Dash indicates it is nothing but the ordinary file type. And D is nothing but the directory file type. The, the color is also get change here. All right. RMDIR. Remove directory A. Enter. Again, uh, press the up arrow key, ls minus l. I can have the directory a get removed here. In this point, so these are the handling command. Now, some redirection operator, IO redirection operator. So, single redirection operator, just like this. Uh, it is nothing but the direct the input from keyboard to the file. So, we'll see the use one by one. Then reverse uh, redirection operator is the take input from the file. The double redirection operator is nothing but the append the output of the screen as an input to the file. Pipe, the single vertical bar is nothing but the pipe, and it is nothing but the output of the first command given as input to the next command. See carefully. Yeah? The, there are two commands. One command is on the left hand side of the pipe, and another command is on the right hand side of the pipe. So you can uh, the first command, output of the first command, the command which is on the left hand side, it is given as input to the Next command, which is on the right hand side of the pipe. So, see here, for example, cat file one, one file is uh, displayed here. Right. So, cat file one into file two, whatever may be the content of the file one, it is now uh, instead of displaying on the screen, now it is put in the file two, and you can have press minus L and getting into the file one. So, whatever may be the output of the file, it is now transferred into the file one. LS bar or LS pipe WC minus C. Here you get the word count of that particular thing. Who sort? Who are the number of users? And you can sort the list. Plus grip file one means you can search. You can search the file name one. Grip command is used for searching a particular pattern. Suppose I want to search the file one in that particular listing of the file. So first command is ls on the left hand side of this pipe. Then pipe operator is there. So what what is the output of ls? Uh, ls is nothing but the listing of the Files. So, listing of the file, it is given as input to the grip command. So, from the, the grip command search, where is the file one? So, file one is search and we will get the output. Okay. So, before going to uh, next, we will again try this. Right. So, first command is, this one is the first one. So, say for example, cat A is already there. Cat A here. Cat A means display the content of the file on the screen display the content of the file on the screen. So I have created one shell program and uh, that is named as a. 
so the uh, the content of the program is displayed on the screen suppose instead of display on the screen i am just putting cat a and if i put into the file 1 see the output now instead of displaying uh, content on the screen the whatever may be the screen content of uh, that particular cat command now they are transported into the file 1 so how to check cat file 1 if i put a cat file 1 command i will get the content again any is point or not means there are the two copies the content of the file a and content of the file 1 they are same because we have used this command cat a and single redirection operator with this arrow we are transferring all the contents into the file 1 right the next command is for example ls minus l right this is the thing suppose if i type ls minus l type wc minus c 114 total words are there ls minus l the output of the ls minus l command is given as input to the word count command so wc command count minus c stands for the word count and c is nothing but the Uh, uh word count suppose minus l total number of lines 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 6 7 eight, 9 total number of nine number of lines here ls minus l gives you total number of number of lines l word count is 514 getting this point so input pipe operator is used here the use of pipe operator see here ls minus l space pipe wc minus c or wc minus l you will get the uh, command of this particular command the output of this particular command right so this is the way uh, we can use this single redirection operator or double redirection operator or the pipe operator why because this thing are important because this thing we are going to use uh, while writing our shell script right now shell scripting okay so shell script so it may be question in your mind the script means what so already you have written a programming c language or in c++ language right so in c or c++ language uh, you have used printf as one keyword right canf is another keyword main is again one keyword then there are different looping structure if loop while loop right then uh, uh, you have different different uh, for loop is there so these and then you have the opening bracket and closing bracket but while uh, the shell script is the same one shell script is the same one here the same thing we have to use but only the thing is that some differences is there with reference to the syntax there is a syntax difference between the c language c++ language and the shell script and the shell script is a small as compared to the c program c program can have 100 lines to 100 lines program but a shell script is a very small program and uh, within a small amount of uh, lines it can give you the uh, maximum output so shell script is a series of collection of shell com shell commands the shell script does not need separate compiler because shell interpreter compiles all the shell script right so just like your uh, similar to your c there are shell keywords like echo is one keyword used in shell a shell then read then export then set unset if else fi so here uh, to complete the if loop suppose if i put a if loop there in my program or shell script then uh, in c what we are using we are using the opening bracket and closing bracket but here there is a no use of bracket at all remember that point there is a no use of bracket at all we just put if else and to complete the if we are using fi means reverse of if that is fi then wait is one keyword then case in c programming you might have used a switch case statement right so here also you can use the switch case case 1 case 2 case 3 all right and to complete there is no need of uh, putting the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket you have to put the, uh, put this esac means reverse of case that is esac and you can complete the case loop then while while is while is accomplished with the do and done while do done then for loop then the break statement is also one there exit continue expr already we have seen the expr and return so these are all the shell com keywords used while writing the shell script or shell program right so we will directly start with our shell script so shell script for addition of two numbers so take the two numbers from the user echo enter two numbers so echo is similar to your printf statement in c 
read a read is similar to your scanf statement in your c programming you are just using scanf but here you have to write the read a and read b one important point is that you need not have to declare any type of variable in unix or linux shell scripting in c what uh, we have done here uh, in c what we have to do here integer a integer b character c but here no need no need to declare any type of variable automatically it will take it the script shell script automatically take it as integer or what it may be if it is a string it will take it as or string str like that remember this point and there is no need to give the bracket echo and opening bracket round bracket or curly bracket no need to give the bracket also at the end there is no need to give any semicolon semicolon in c we used to give the semicolon if we forget to give the semicolon it will give you the error right so here just read a read b num equal to expr dollar a plus dollar b so what is the meaning of dollar a and dollar b so read a means a is the variable a is the variable the first number you are reading from the user b is another variable you are using uh, you are taking from the user and dollar a is nothing but the value of that variable just like your percent d used in c language getting this point or not scanf scanf may uh, scanf you are using scanf percent d meaning is that your percent d indicates the value of that particular integer or your percent c value of the character percent a is nothing but the value of the string used in c so in shell script if we want to use the value you have to give the dollar sign dollar a plus dollar b right then echo addition is dollar num num is another one variable we have used here directly we are using here variable no need to declare integer num like this dollar m is nothing but simply the value of that variable right so see here so just type the comma uh, i will just type the program vid so there is one editor in this editor is called as the vi editor in linux operating system so just uh, input then echo just enter two numbers read a read b then sum equal to so see carefully you have to put this Now it is not this one or it is not a double colon, but you have to put this one. So here, this particular sign or this particular inverted comma, you will find uh, near to the number one key. Number one key on the keyboard, you can find it. Number one key, and to the left hand side of the number one key, you will find this particular sign. So with the expr, you have to use this one. You don't have to use this double quote or single quote. Single quote uh, or double quote, we do not use here. We have to use this sign. It is near to the uh, on the keyboard near to key here num xpr space then dollar value of a plus dollar value of b and complete this uh, complete this expression with the sign that is single quote then echo addition is this one dollar Num. Enter. And to save from this variable, just press the escape key. I am pressing the escape key. Then W colon W Q. W Q stands for save and quit from this editor. Just I am I am come I am at the prompt. So if I want to see the cat, this is my program. This is my small shell script. That is go enter the two numbers. Read A, read B. Then num equal to expr dollar A plus dollar B. Eco addition is suppose, and I want to run the program. S H D. S H stands for to run the shell script, and the name of the shell script is small D. There is no need to give any extension to the script. Remember this point. In C, we used to give a dot C or b dot C like this, or in Java also we need to give a dot Java or b dot. There is no need to give any extension to that particular file or the program or the script. Just type the name of the program D and enter. So enter the two numbers. Say for example three. And four, addition is seven. Addition of the two numbers is seven. Get this point. So again, I can run and put the up arrow key. The same command. Enter the two numbers. For example, hundred, one hundred. Addition is three hundred. 
means our program is in a running state there is no error uh, while uh, executing the program suppose if i by mistake it like this here i will just escape i i will just type like this delete instead of uh, giving space i will just type this out of the pro command uh, of the uh, this editor and i again sh d enter the two numbers 2 and 2 so addition is 2 plus 2 it will not give you the correct answer why because i miss to give the space there so again i have to correct it v i d escape i then i can have space space w q then again i can run s h d 4 5 addition is 9 clear to everybody okay just clear here screen is clear now go to the next shell script okay write a shell script for some of the given numbers means you have to take the numbers from the user enter how many numbers you want to add so i want to add four number right so read that n number four read n four then echo enter the fourth num four number so i enter the number one number two number three and number four then sum initialize the variable sum equal to zero the counter i counter i equal to one then we are using while loop here see carefully while space then square bracket space dollar i that is nothing but the, our counter one is less than dollar n means the number total number we have entered that is four number or five numbers i want to add here the uh, the uh, square bracket complete then do so while loop always comes with the do and done then in the while loop read num means whatever number i want to add here so read num right then sum sum is another variable sum equal to into this particular quote expr space dollar num plus dollar sum and the uh, quote complete right so this is nothing but the sum is getting done here in this variable i equal to i plus plus it is very similar to your i equal to i plus plus or i plus plus statement i equal to quote expr dollar i plus 1 means it is similar to your i plus, it is similar to your that one i plus plus or increment the counter by 1 then done the sum of the numbers is dollar sum right so we'll see here so i have already written the program via or instead of going to the editor just put here cat a so this is the program enter number then read number n then enter suppose i want to enter the four number read four numbers sum initialized to zero the i initialized to i initialized to one uh, sorry i also initialized to zero then while dollar i is less than so minus lt is also it is called as the less than so there are this operator just like equal to then you can have minus eq then greater than minus gt like this you have to put here dollar n do read n num then sum equal to into the quote expr dollar num plus dollar sum then i equal to expr dollar i plus 1 quote complete that is nothing but i plus plus done and eco sum is dollar num so if i again we'll run this sh a the name of the shell script is a i will run this with the help of the sh command so enter the number suppose four number i want to add here so enter four numbers enter four numbers i put one is the first is the third second three is the fourth number and fourth is the fourth the sum is 10 three plus four seven plus three is 10 right suppose if i want to again run this program sh a enter the number say for example four hundred two hundred four hundred And say for example five hundred. Any four numbers you can put, and the sum is here one thousand and two hundred. So this is the program that is the cat a. So this is your shell script. Cat a. So this is the way how we are adding the given numbers. So you want to take the numbers from the users. Getting all of you. Any doubt in this case? Okay. So next point. Check the shell script for odd even number check. Suppose the number is given to you, and it is asked to check whether the number is even or odd number. So echo enter a number, then read number, then b equal to another take another one variable for a, then take another variable b. Expr dollar a dollar a is nothing but the value of the number a divided by now divided by sign is indicated by this sign by two. And if the if the division is equal to zero means if the dollar b If the value of b is equal to zero, the number is even. If the value is non-zero, the number is odd. It is very simple. So the program is already 
uh, I have created here the cat B. Name of the program is B. The same program. Say for example, cat B. So this enter a number, read a expr dollar a percentage two means we have to divide the number by two. And if the division is equal to zero, number is even. If the if the division is not equal to zero, number is odd. So we will execute S H B. And if uh, enter the number, if I enter the number two hundred. We will give the number is even. Again, we execute number one twenty one twenty one. Number is odd, right? So it is a very small shell script, and with a very beautiful shell script, uh, where you will find enjoy. And here we used if loop. Huh? So in the first program, I forget to tell you that in the first one we use the while loop, but in the second uh, shell script we are using the if loop. See carefully. Loop. If then space bracket space dollar b equal to zero space bracket complete and if is always comes with the then else and if I how to complete the if loop if bracket the condition then you have to put the then then echo the first condition if it is a true else is you have to put here else and then echo and the next is if I instead of putting the curly bracket. You have to complete it with the with the help of this if I statement, right? So in the previous first one, uh, we used the while statement. In the this one, we have used here while, but in the second one, we are using here if loop. And if is comes with the if then else and if I, whereas the while loop comes with the while do done, right? There is no need of any bracket. And always remember that while space bracket if space bracket space whatever may be the condition, and again the space and bracket you have to give here. If you miss to give the bracket, then definitely your program will not run. Here it will give you an error, right? Suppose, suppose B I B. Again, I open the program and instead of this one, I miss the space, right? See what happen. S H B. Enter the number. Number four. So this see here line number four not found command not found it will give an error number is odd so it is totally wrong or the it will it is giving you the error because of the space because we need to give the space we have to correct it so space here right w q if I again run enter the number four the number is even there is more so space is Treated as one character or space is treated as one uh, character in Unix or in shell script, right? So while adding extra space or suppose uh, missing some space, it gives you an error. The program or the shell script is not going to run if you miss the space, right? Okay. So next one is nothing but uh, the next program or the next shell script to find the factorial of a number. Already in C language or C plus plus, you might have. A, uh, uh, type or executed this uh, factorial to find the factorial of a number. So enter echo, enter a number, the read number a, then i counter equal to one factorial one variable is equal to one initialize while space bracket dollar i is less than or equal to dollar e number do fact equal to expr dollar fact. This one is nothing but the multiplication that black uh, backward slash into multiple sign dollar i. The quote complete and i equal to into bracket expr dollar i plus one quote complete that is nothing but this i plus plus done factorial of number a is dollar fact right we'll see here here at c so this is our factorial program let's see this program is there enter the number read a then i equal to one fact equal to one then while dollar i is less than or equal to a dollar a do fact equal to expr and multiplication with dollar i then i equal to i plus plus that is expr dollar i plus one that is counter increment to one done factorial of dollar a is equal to that dollar factor so i run this program sh c to the number which uh, you want to find out the factorial so for five the factorial of five is 120 right Again, if I execute this C, enter the number, suppose I want to pin, I want to find out the factorial for 10 number. So this is nothing but the factorial of 10. Enter the number 4, so 4 factorial is 24. So it will give you the correct output. There is no, if the program is right, if the program, uh, the syntax of the program is correct, no error for the space, 
no error for any operator less than or equal to or the multiplication of the division operator then it will correctly execute and there will be no error absolutely at all uh, to run this shell scripts that is the beauty of the shell script within a very short uh, one can say short code you can have the maximum output for this right next one is the uh, fifth one is nothing but the write a shell script to check the string and wrong so if you want to check the string whether the string is palindrome or not everybody know the meaning of palindrome right so suppose the string is madam m a d a m then the program will give you the output that the string is palindrome right so if the uh, a b c d if the string is put, given if it is not palindrome it will give the uh, answer that the string is not palindrome the logic for the string palindrome is given enter the string then read the string with the uh, variable str no need to declare the variable str rev is the reverse we have declare and it is a space means uh, empty variable we have created here length equal to zero means initially the string length is equal to zero now how to find out the length of the string length equal to exp or dollar str means you are taking the string as input pipe this exp or str it is now given to wc minus e word count means we have to count the words if for example m a d a m we have to find out the each uh, we have to cut the each word and we have to find out the length of the string and the length is stored in the variable len l e n while dollar length is greater equal to 0 to temp take another variable temporary variable expr dollar str string cut string cut the string to that particular length and put it in the temporary temporary and length equal to expr dollar n minus 1 means you are uh, reducing the length by 1 and then reverse eco rev dollar rev dollar tmp means you are now reversing the string and you are putting it in a reverse variable so this loop it uh, loop will be executed till the complete length of that particular string then if the str means the original string is equal to the reverse string then you go the string is palindrome if it is not the string is not palindrome string right so this is the uh, shell script to check whether the string is palindrome or not okay so the next the course outcome for this today's session what we have learned today is introduction to unix operating system and unix file system the basic shell commands the write a shell script and the course outcome attainment of the session is nothing but the fundamentals of the understanding of the role of operating system uh, specifically the unix operating system the questions asked on the particular topic already all questions related to your shell script so you have to write a shell script to check the palindrome of the string you have to execute it on the shell, uh, in the linux environment you have to write a shell script to display the student result now here uh, this is your assignment you consider it as your assignment so you have to take the marks of all the five subjects suppose you are at a tit uh, first semester all the five subjects marks you have to take from the user enter the mark m1 mark m2 mark m3 mark m4 and mark m5 add it in one variable say for example total equal to expr m1 plus m2 plus dollar m1 plus dollar m2 plus dollar m3 send total then uh, 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 then average is equal to total divided by 5 and this if this average is less than or equal to 40 then it is fail if this average is more than 65 percent then you can have it is a distinction so like this way you have to find out the result so you try it yourself then write a shell script to find out area of a circle means you have to take the radius multiply r, um, r square into 3.14 pi value you will find the area of the circle and it is a very simple shell script to find the square and the cube of the number uh, multiple uh, of two suppose 4 cube is nothing but 4 into 4 a square and cube is nothing but 4 into 4 into 4 it will give you the cube number so in this case while performing this shell script or while uh, for, uh, writing the shell script so first condition or the first prerequisite is that you have to install so this is your today's task install the ubuntu linux operating system on your laptop or desktop so that you can able to type whatever the commands we have learned today and whatever may be the shell program or the shell script we have learned today just type it at your end because just by seeing on the ppt it will not work for you you have to explicitly type it by your own hand right and you have to you have to also develop write the program shell script so that uh, the errors will there and if you remove the error you will come to understand ki how to execute the shell program and if you have any doubt you can ask me at any time in the writing as well as the executing the shell program so references nptl video lecture link 
and uh, suppose if you do not have the linux install on your machine so online linux command prompt is available so you just go to this link that is uh, online just like uh, uh, demonstration i have given to you i have just demo on the windows itself i have not installed the linux on my laptop but online linux uh, command prompt is available so you can also make use of this command online linux command prompt but of course it has certain limitations because it cannot e execute all each and every command it is online editor or online interpreter so thank you for the presentation so with this uh, we have completed the unit number 1 of our operating system right so the ppts are the material on the yesterday's lecture and today's lecture i will upload it on the classroom you just thoroughly go through it and all the uh, ppts all the video lectures just thoroughly go through it you refer the uh, book galvin reference book for the operating system and as the unit number 1 is completed uh, we will have the unit test online unit test on the unit number 1 so in that unit test i will also ask you the shell program shell script you have to type it uh type the shell script the shell command you have to type it right so probably on monday uh, we will have the test on the unit number 1 clear all of you and if you have any doubt you can ask me at any time you message me on whatsapp or you can have the chat window right